photographer with InStyle Magazine. We're live here at Flex Studios in New York City. I'm here with Victoria's Secret Angel, Elsa Hosk, and we all want to know how the Victoria's Secret Angels are getting in shape for the big show coming up. We're so excited, and today we're going to learn exactly how to train like an angel. I'm super excited for you guys to see how we get runway ready. I'm here with Jen Saracuz. He's the um, creative director of Flex Studios, where I go a lot. I love this workout because it's full body, it's intense, it has cardio. Normally we do it with music, so it's great, but these exercises will really tone you up, lift the booty, you know, tighten the abs, make you strong, and you feel so good after. Yep. So today we're gonna do 10 total body exercises that you can do right at home. So I hope you'll join us. And let's train like an angel. Woo! All right. Let's do this. So the first thing we're going to do is just a little warm-up exercise. Go ahead and stand at the top of your mat. Elsa. Yes. I love to start with a plank. Um, I think a plank lights up the entire body. It's a great way to warm up the abs, the glutes, the arms, everything. So the first thing we're going to do is take a nice big breath in. Take an inhale and kind of just like set your mind to your workout. Exhale, press down, chin down. You're going to roll down, bend your knees, and walk your hands out to your plank. You're just going to hold that plank for me. Good. Roll your heart forward, pull your low belly in and up and squeeze. Now take a look at this. This is the perfect plank right here. She's got her glutes and hamstrings connected, her abs are lifting, she's pushing away and not sinking in her ribs. This plank is every plank you do all the time, right? All right, from here you're gonna take it all the way back. So you're gonna walk back, bend your knees, lift up, reach. Good, take it right back out. To that same plank and right back. So once you get yourself kind of warmed up, you're going to start to pick up the pace. Take it down. So the exercises that we're going to do today, you can do for about 30 seconds to a minute. We're going to stick with 30 seconds today, but you can build up to a minute to do things. So she's going to take it up and take it down. Good. Walk it out. Hit that strong plank. So even though she's trying to get her heart rate up, she's not going to neglect her form. She's going to keep her form strong. So it's not about rushing. Good. She's got three more. Take it out. And in. Good, and up, two more, you got it, down, and up, and in, good, bring it up, last one, you're ready for it, take it up, and in, good, and stand it all the way up, awesome job, Ooh. from here, we're going to kick it up a notch, take it into a little bit more cardio, so I'm going to give you some, <coughs> I'm going to take some weights, thank you, at home if you don't have weights, no problem, just do it without the weights, or you can always choose or even just like water. a, I always use like, like when I'm in a bottle. hotel, like a water bottle, yeah, water just bottle, take it out of me, Anything, just pick something up that weighs something. <laughs> um, take your weights, you can cross them like this like an X. You're gonna stand on one foot with the other leg out to the side. Good, and we're gonna reach the weights all the way up and across. We're gonna pull the elbows into the knee across the body. We're gonna pull it in and out, in. So that's the move, and when you're ready, again, you're gonna pick up your pace, in, 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 in. So this right here, guys, is ab cardio. This is what we call ab cardio. Because as you can see, it's really, really good for the abs. Her heart rate gets like nice and high, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this works good. like everything. Good. Breathe. I'm telling you. And in. And in. Good. You have 10 seconds. You're almost there. Good. In. In. And if you like, you can keep this outside leg floating. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Bring it in. So at Flex, we like combos. So give me those. Uh -huh. She's going to come down. Right after that, go on to all fours. So come down onto all fours. Uh-huh. Heart forward. She's going to target the same muscle group, her abs. Roll her heart forward, and she's going to lift her knees up just two inches. Good. So notice her hips are going to stay nice and low. She's going to kick her left foot across, lift her right hand up, and then bring it back down. Good. Do it again. Up and down. And up. Notice. Her booty is not lifting, so your booty should not be lifting either. Take it up. Take it up. Take it down, good, and up. So again, we've got cardio, her heart rate's getting high. Good, and she's working those abs, crossing with those obliques. Good, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, stay with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. From Ooh. there, she's gonna pick herself up, and we would do the other side. So we would go right back to the weights, do the pull-in, and then come down and do the other side of our break dancer, um, so that you really get that maximum burnout for the obliques. Um, and then from here, we're going to move on to some legs. Yeah, let's you do ready? it. Okay. So heels in, toes out. This is our polite first position. Good. Stand nice and tall. Good. Pull the abs in. Lift the heels, and then you want to squeeze your heels together. Nice and tight. Good. 
And then we want to check in on form, guys. So we want to make sure the ribs are back and the booty's forward. So you're kind of like making a sandwich here. Yeah? From here, nice and strong, slowly down for three counts. Bend the knees. Go three, two, one, back up halfway. Again, three, two, one, back up halfway. And if you don't have great balance, you can always hold on to something like Absolutely. a chair <laughs> or the wall. Yes, so you can use. But it really helps cup, like tighten your abs yes. here to keep balance. Mm -hmm. And then again, the whole time you're checking in on that form. It's really easy, guys, on this one. I see it a lot in class, this stuff. That's not yeah. what we want. We want to make sure that we really pull in and up. So super focused on form. It's not a fast moving exercise, so you have the time to really hone in. But it burns, let yeah. me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Good, how are you feeling? 10 seconds. Good, and again, try not to straighten your legs all the way. And up. Good. Down, down, keep going, and up, one more, down, 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 and up, good job. All right, shake out the legs. Yes, but we're not done with them, but we are going to take a deep breath. Yes, so we're going to step it wide for this one, you're still going to feel it in your quads, you're still going to feel it in your thighs, drop the hips down, get that booty, so again, hips forward, yeah. ribs back, arms are going to have your weights, <laughs> bring your arms out, good, now from here, we're going to cross right over left, and then left over right, and then we're gonna stand all the way up, open them big and wide. And then we're gonna come down, left over forward, right, <laughs> and then cross. I don't wanna punch you. You don't? <laughs> cross, cross, and up. I don't up. think I can do this without her. Cross, cross, <laughs> and up. You need me. And cross, and cross, and up. Now, I love this one because you can feel it in the inner thighs. So good. It's great because it's total body, guys. The cool thing about this too is you get chest and the back of your arms if you do it right. Really squeeze like you're squeezing the back corner of your armpits together. There you go. And yeah, left. This one is everything. Abs, legs. And out. Inner thighs, Good. arms. Ten more seconds. And I'm going to ask you to push your armpits to your hips. That's better. Lift your heart up. So you always want to really lift up through the heart. Good. Nice. Five, four, three, two. Hold it right here. Just a little killer. Cross, 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 cross. Yes. So those extra little pushes, guys, are everything. Just take those extra little minutes to kind of really pull in, dig down deep, find your endurance. I hate you. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, stand up. Good job. <laughs> it's so much harder than it looks. I know. It's that little tiny movement that'll yeah. really get you, right? So you're going to take this and put it away. Elsa's favorite, booty. Yeah. Ready? Are you guys take ready? It your mat. She's good at booty. So the first thing you're going to do, um, I want you to step forward and then back into like a little lunge here. Good. Now, we're going to bring our hands up and you're going to take your hand to the mat on the inside of your front foot. Take your left foot back. Good. And now step it forward and then bring it back up just to the lunge. Let's do it again. Down. Back. Good. And if you guys notice that awesome plank from the beginning of class, right here. There you go. Take it down. Take it back. Take it forward. Take it up. You got it. So again, we want to keep nice and low. So we're really focusing on that area right where the glutes and the hamstrings meet, right at the top of those hamstrings. So hold right strong right there. She's not going to let her knee go forward. Good. She's not going to um, let her butt lift up too high. She's staying super low. Good. She's got 10 seconds. Maybe she's going to push her tempo. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. You got it. Four. Three. Now listen. Two. She's going to take a set lunge and she's going to hold it right here. Good. She's going to come up just a little bit, lift her back foot, and she's going to balance. Hold it. You got it. Now we're going to go all the way to the floor. Bend that back knee. So you're going to go down and then back up to that balance. Good. End again. Down, back up to the balance. Think of rocking your weight backwards, guys, as you do this. So you're going to drop back and up. Perfect. Okay, maybe I should move to the... <laughs> <laughs> like doing it to the wall. There you go. Does that feel better? Yeah. Good. Up. And down. And up. Good. Down. And up. So again, this is another combo, guys. So we would go right from one exercise to the other. She's burning out this left glute. She's burning out her left hamstrings. Good. And lift. Two more, and she's going to hold it up. Two. One more. Hold it right here. Lift that back leg up. Tiny pulses. Up. Two for one. So basically, her standing leg is killing right now. But she's also getting a little bit of a lift in that bottom leg. Good. Six, five, four, three, two. You're a rock star. Woo! Lift it up. Good job. Damn. 
Okay, just when you thought it was over. You're gonna come down onto the mat. Okay. And are you leaving? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, come onto your knees, face the, face the people at home. Come onto your knees. Hello, people Turn. at home. <laughs> Take your right hand and put it out on your mat. Take your left leg, give it to me. Squeeze. Okay, so again, she's got glutes and hamstrings connected. She's lifting through her ribs. Everything's reaching. She's going to take this leg, and she's going to kick all the way in front and all the way back to me, all the way in front. What we're looking for, this stays still. Yes. Uh-huh. Take it forward. Take it front. And it's the longest leg you can find, right? Reach. The kick is not as important as keeping it long and lifted, guys. So you don't want to worry so much about how far forward you can get because I don't want you to start to move your spine. Good. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You've got 10 seconds. 10. Don't move. Nine. There you go. So abs are super important in this exercise too, guys. So like I said, it's total body. It isn't total body just because we're doing total body exercises. Every exercise is total body. Good. You're killing me right now. <laughs> One, I guess. <laughs> and then bring it out. Good. Now you're done. Are we doing this? Good job. All right. From here, go ahead and bring yourself up. And I want you to come around. I'm going to give you a towel. Thank you. Good. Um, we're going to put your toes on the towel. So why don't you put your hands on this one so you have something nice for your hands. Come down and put your hands here and your toes here. So we're going to get right into some ab work here. So bring your knees down. Uh -huh. Like on the towel? Nope. Hands here, knees on the floor. Okay. But toes on the towel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two towels. Two towels. Good. Okay. Roll your heart forward. She's going to go back into that awesome plank. Press it out. Good. From here, she's going to pike her hips. So pull in and then slide it out. Go super duper slow on this one. Yeah. So we use the towel, and you can use a towel at home, to simulate the work we also do in our Pilates classes. We work on a moving piece called a flex former. This gives you that same amount of effort and that same amount of work on the, of that moving instability um, without having to have the equipment at home. Go lift and roll out. Good job. Lift and roll out. You've got 15 seconds. Perfect. Excellent. Roll that heart forward. So notice again, every time she drops to her plank, she sticks it, squeezes her glutes, and lifts. Good. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Ready? Last exercise. <laughs> do it just a little dab. <laughs> Good. Okay. We've got one more exercise. Yay! Can we do it? Yeah, of course. Okay. So you're coming <laughs> down onto the mat. We're going to go for a side plank. Okay. Side plank is my favorite kind of plank. Good. It's great for working those obliques. It's awesome for balance. So bring it down onto your forearm for me. You can definitely do a side plank up on your hand. No rules against it. I just happen to like it on the forearm. I like that the angle is a little bit lower. Um, works the abs a little bit deeper. Squeeze and lift the hips up for me. Everything is stacked. Hips forward. Good. Take your top arm. You're going to put it behind your head. Good. Now take your top elbow and reach it towards your bottom fingertips and lift up. Perfect. Good. So the most important thing in an exercise like this is isolation. She's keeping her hips as still as she can while she rotates just from the waist. So the rib cage is going to turn a little bit, but the hips are not. And that's important. Those little details are going to mean everything in your workout. She's got about 15 seconds left. Breathe, twist. Doing awesome. Breathe. Big exhale as you rotate. Think of like wringing it out like a wet towel. Good. You ready? Five, four, lift, three, Two, done. Oh. You're done. <laughs> yes, girl. Nice work. Woo. How do you feel? I feel good. I mean, it works out for both of us, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much harder than it looks, these small little movements. Yes. You really have to like get down on the floor and try it because it really like just whoosh, makes yeah. you whole. And none of it's super like complicated exercises, yeah. all things that are very easy for you to do at home. Um, but super effective because you're focusing on form and alignment and how the exercise is done. You can really take it back to the basics. Exactly. Well, it looks really hard. We have some reader <laughs> questions. Um, the first one is, what outfit are you wearing and what do you typically like to wear when you work out? Um, I'm very much a sport bra kind of girl. A pair of black leggings just because it's easy when you ex exit the gym. You can like throw your jacket on over it and like put your boots on and you look normal. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but anything that's gonna like keep everything in shape, you know, Victoria's Secret does such amazing workout stuff right now. Um, I love some of these new styles with like the prints and different shapes. Yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, next question is from Katie. Do you still play basketball for fun? And if so, how often? I wish I did it so much more, you know? I used to do it, I used to play like along the East Side River. And now I'm just sort of, I don't really have the time, <laughs> to be honest. You've got, you've got a lot going on. Yeah, there's no shapes on the show. I wish um, I had more time. So from Sarah, what's your pre and post workout snack? Very important. Uh, pre workout, probably eggs. I try to work out like in the mornings and or at night, so eggs is a great way to get the protein. After workout, I like something like a little bit sweeter, so maybe like a smoothie or something like with green juice or something like that. And then from Haley, we have how often do you work out and for how long? I try to work out every day just because it's my job to stay in shape and we're in lingerie pretty much all year round, so um, it's definitely one of those things that goes hand in hand with the job. Um, leading up to the show, I try to do extra and just, you know, do a little extra push, work out a little harder, really make the time worth it in the gym. And then Christina asks a question that I'm dying to know the answer to also, which is, is there one exercise that you really hate doing? I think you, planks. You do it anyways. I hate planks, <laughs> but they're so effective. Yes. It's like, it's pure torture, you but it works. Because you're so good at them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so, it's like this pain, like from the inside, just, ugh. Oh. That's when you know it's but, it, but that's when you know it's good. You're right, that's when you know it's good. <laughs> so you keep doing them anyway. Yeah, I keep doing them over and, and over and over. the last question is from Marianne, what's your favorite ab exercise? Um, Besides the plank, I guess. Probably something on the ball. Mm -hmm. I like when you get to have the ball, like, in your spine, and you just go up. Uh, because it's kind of gentle on your back. Yeah, it's good too because you get to um, experience the abs also in extension and yeah. flexion in a very safe way. So you can always like. And I go feel like open it works this ball. upper abs, right? Yep. More than the lower abs? Yeah, I mean, all the abs are all the abs, but it is like a great way to um, feel that like expansion of the rib cage. Yeah. And then the way the muscles, especially your deep abdominals, really come together to pull in. Yeah. You get that. And you see the, the results of that, that too. Exercise. It just makes really nice like shape on your abs. And that's all the questions we have. Yay! Fantastic. I'm so happy you guys got to work out with us. And don't miss, next week Martha Hunt is going to take you to her favorite workout, which is Body by Simone. Don't miss that because she is in great shape. Um, thank you guys so thank much. Thank you. Thanks so much. We that's killed it. it. That's a wrap from Flex Studios. Train like an angel. <laughs>